Hey there guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Yellow and today we're doing another video. Can you believe it? It's been a while, but uh, I'm back and I'm ready to pump out some more content. Anyway, today we're doing a very important video. I'm going to be showing you how to get controller support on the Epic Games Launcher. Now, this is probably very important to some people as uh, I soon figured out when I got the free uh, Rocket League on the Epic Games Launcher that controller support didn't work. Uh, controllers don't work on the Epic Games Launcher, which is unfortunate, but today I'm going to be showing you how to get controllers to work on the Epic Games Launcher. So please sit back, relax, and let's get straight into it. Uh, I'm going to go as far as I can in this video. I don't like wasting people's time. Um, so before we start, I just want to say a few things that you will need to do before this to work. Uh, so, uh, the first thing is you're gonna need Steam installed. And I'm talking about this Steam right here. Steam, like the actual Steam game store. Now this may seem very weird, it's because Epic Game Store is meant to be competitive with Steam. But, uh, this is actually, uh, you will need this for, uh, controllers to work. Now the second thing that you will need, uh, to do is uh, you'll need to have uh, your controller fully set up on Steam. So if it's not set up on Steam, uh, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, it's very simple, however, it's different for every single controller. And I've got a third party controller, so my one's gonna be completely different to like a Xbox uh, controller or a PlayStation controller. So I'll leave links in the description below on how to do it. It's different for every controller, like I said. So if you've got a third party controller like mine, it's uh, just search it up on Google or whatever and you'll probably find a guide to it. There's guides everywhere on how to set it up on Steam. It's not that hard. Now, once you've got your controller set up on Steam, you're basically ready to go. So, the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up Steam. Uh, by the way, my Steam will look very different to yours. I've got a custom theme on, however, it will be basically the same. It's only slightly different uh, than my custom theme, if you're wondering, is Metro, Metro for Steam. Anyway, so all you need to do is you want to go to uh, your little thing here, and you also you want to go to add a non-Steam game to my library. It should be in this corner here, add a non-Steam game to my library. Okay, so now you want to find your Epic Games uh, launcher, uh, your Epic Games, uh, where your Epic Games launcher is installed. So the way how you do this, you can just open up your start menu, and uh, you can simply just type in Epic Games Launcher, uh, and then you can just click Open File Location, and then yet again, uh, Open File Location, and you should be there. Just copy this. And then go back into Steam, click Browse, and as you see here, it's already filled it out. And then just double click on Epic Games Launcher and it should just come right up. And then you want to click Add Selected Programs. I've already done this, but that's all you have to do. The next thing that you need to do is you want to go to your library, your Steam library. As you see here, I've got everything here. Uh, and all you need to do is you just need to find the Epic Games Launcher and just click play. Make sure your Epic Games Launcher is closed before you do this, otherwise it's not going to work. You need to have it closed. Uh, so now what you want to do is you want to make sure you launch the Epic Games Launcher from here every single time. There's a reason why, and I'll show you this. You see here, the Steam Community Access While Playing. So basically what this has done is uh, it's basically uh, made the Epic Games Launcher a Steam game. So uh, if you click Shift Tab, it will come up in here. This is so it basically uh, makes the Epic Games Launcher a Steam game. And uh, this is actually very good because, well, <laughs> the Epic Games Launcher is pretty terrible. So now, uh, that's basically it, to be honest. Uh, your controller is now set up with uh, Epic Games. It um, runs off Steam, and uh, if you go, I'm gonna open up Rocket League here, and uh, I'm gonna get my controller out. Uh, by the way, this is what my keyboard sounds like. So you'll know when I'm not using my keyboard, I'm using my controller. Uh, so, let me wait for, uh, Rocket League to open, and, um, yeah, I'll show you how it works. Okay, as you see here, I've opened up Rocket League, I've had to mute the sound because I will get a copyright claim. I don't really want that! Um, so, as you see here, uh, it even comes up with the, uh, controller, uh, you know, what buttons you need to press, and as you see here, I'm, uh, using my controller, I'm not using my keyboard, this is what my keyboard sounds like. Uh, so I'm using my controller here, and I can just hit play, and everything works here, so I'm just gonna go on a... Actually, I'll go on a bot game, because I'm gonna just, uh, show what it is. I'm gonna do training, I'm just gonna go in three play, uh, 
By the way, I'm really terrible at this. I only caught this, so... Uh, yeah, and as you see here... Uh, Jesus. Uh, it works fine. Everything works, and uh, yeah. So it's uh, great. Uh, so yeah. Alrighty, oh guys, so that's basically it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, give it a like. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, like I said, it's not really necessary, but uh, I'd love to... I love you guys to support my channel. Only about 6% of my audience uh, are actually subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And uh, join my Discord. Uh, a lot of fun on there. Staff is still hiring. And most importantly, thank you for watching, and I uh, will see you in the next video.